Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. I am back with another interesting topic in the Tosca automation playlist. Continuing with our test automation obstacle topic, let's look at our next obstacle, which is called the table search. Now this particular obstacle contains a dynamic table with rows and columns. And here we need to find whether a particular cell in this table contains this particular value, which is 15. If it is present, then uh, the value should be true. If not, then false. And accordingly, we need to enter that into this text field. So this particular table, I can see there is 15. Okay, so I'm going to enter true here and then the obstacle uh, will be completed. So the same thing we need to perform using Tosca. So let's see how we can do this using Tosca. So coming back to our Tosca workspace, uh, the first step as always is to create a new module. So we will go to our obstacles folder. Here we will scan the application. And from here, we need to select just two elements. One is the table, okay? And then the other is the text box. So these are the two elements which uh, we need to enter here. And then I will copy this and change the module name here. And then I will save it and close it, okay? And then uh, coming to the test cases section. So we'll go to our obstacles folder. Here we will create a new test case. And then uh, we are going to add the module here. So here coming to obstacles and add the module here. Now uh, we have got a table and we have got the text field, right? So. Uh, what we can do here is in order to find any particular cell, since this table is dynamic in nature, so this 15 value can come anywhere, right? So any row, any column. So the best and the fastest way to do a search on all the rows and columns is to use the constraint action mode. So we'll put a constraint action mode on this value, which is 15. And uh, depending on that, it will filter out the row which contains this particular cell, right? Once that is done, then uh, we can go ahead and we can buffer uh, whether this particular element exists or not. It will return a true or false. So whatever value it returns, it will be stored in a buffer and then that buffer value can be entered here. Okay, so this is the whole process which we are going to follow. So let's go back here uh, and now we are going into the table. So we need to find out the row and we know that the cell value is 15, right? So this we are going to do a constraint so that the row will be filtered based on this constraint. And then once that is done, then uh, we are going to say exists equals equals uh, the buffer name. So we are going to put this as B underscore exists. Okay. And then we are also going to change this to buffer. Right. So it will check on the row whether it exists. Okay. If this cell exists, then it will store that in the buffer, whether it is true or false. And once that is done, then we can come to the text box. And here we can enter the buffer value. Okay. So that almost completes our obstacle. So I'll change the bug state to completed. And now we are ready to execute. So let's go ahead and execute this in Scratchbook. Okay. So as you can see in the background, it entered a uh, true depending on whether that element was present or not. And it will enter false if it is not present and the obstacle was completed, right? So this is how you can filter out rows based on the constraint action mode. And also you can easily search any particular cell with any particular value using this constraint action mode. And then you can use the buffer action mode to uh, 
basically buffer any particular value based on some condition for that particular row or column. That's all for this particular video. If you have any questions, then please leave it in the comments. If you like this video, then please subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.